Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, I'm Bogey King. Well, you already knew that. Here today at the range at the Links at St. Anne's to test drive brand new club I just got. Can't wait to try this thing out. It is the Bomb Tech Golf One Iron. Look at this thing, it is beautiful. I hate to even hit it, it's so clean and perfect. It's got nice green grooves, if you can see that. It is supposed to be very forgiving. It's supposed to be a good alternative to your driver if you're maybe having a rough day. So I've never hit a driving iron before. Obviously I hit my other irons, but we're gonna see how this thing works. You're gonna be here along with me and we'll try it out today. And then I'm going to do a full review on this. I'm gonna play with it a number of rounds, get accustomed to it. And then I will share my honest thoughts. I bought this myself. Uh, it does, I think it retails for $99.99. I had a coupon code I found online. So between the coupon code and shipping ended up being like 82 bucks. So not too bad. And uh, I hear Bomb Tech Golf has great customer service and uh, really makes decent clubs for the average golfer. And that's what I am. So without further ado, let's hit this thing. Before we do though, hit that subscribe button, hit that like. If you're uh, new here, we want you to be plugged in. There's a lot going on, a lot of cool stuff happening. So you wanna be in the know. New videos every Saturday. It's a good time. So without you know any more talk from me, let's hit this club. Cool, so I brought my Garmin G80 approach so we can understand how far the club hits. Uh, you've seen the review. If you haven't seen the review, go check it out. Put the link in the description below, or maybe up here in the corner. Really great tool for range work, for learning distances and just having fun. So I don't really know if you tee up a one arm. I'm going to, I got my, my short plastic tees here. Uh, mind you, no real warm up. I'm going to. So I'll say it's got a nice feel. It's got a nice weight at the bottom. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't look that big, but when you're you know, top down, but overall, I mean, it's, you know, here's the side angle from the back down. Let me actually bring you over here with me. We're gonna line up here. You can see down the face of the club. It is nice big cavity back. Really, really straight face. So that should be low driving, hopefully good distance out of it. First swing, I'm not gonna go crazy. Just gonna line myself up. I also think I shot my tee in the outer space, so. So it's 129 total. I'm gonna guess or expect that I should probably get like 200 plus out of this on a solid strike. I mean, you wanna try to you know, replicate the distance. That's 146. I'm gonna get some taller tees, bear it back. One thing I've noticed is, I've only hit this twice now. You've seen them both. There's already a nice gouge at the bottom. I know the clubs get messed up, but like I've had other clubs, I might get minor scuffs, but like that's a pretty good scratch right out of the gate. So I don't know if that speaks to durability. Well, that really felt good and went really straight, but about 148 total. Great. 192 total distance, 91 miles per hour club speed, 120 mile an hour ball speed. It's 
Smash Factor is 132 and tempo is 3.2, so that was ideal. Just a nice, smooth swing, 191. So I feel like we're, you know, getting a little dialed in. I think this is gonna be something that I'm gonna have to work at, practice on a little bit. I didn't catch that great, but well, here's the thing. Even when I'm not hitting it great, it's going straight. So that one I hit over here and that really didn't feel all that bad. Well, that felt great. 178, man. That was a 1.37 smash factor and a 3.0 on the tempo. So that was exactly where you want to be. Not bad. Hey, 178. I mean, that's again. If you're just trying to put it in play, set yourself up for a good second shot. I mean, so far I'm digging the. Again, we're just figuring this out, but I think about half an inch off the ground, about middle of stance. A little bit left center of stance. All right, everyone, uh, that is it for my time out here on the range. Initial impressions are positive. I think once I got settled with the club uh, and got used to the swing and the feel, uh, it was averaging about 185 to 200. So I think from a driving iron perspective off the tee, you know, that could be good. Like I said, in part four situations, um, or maybe narrow par fives. Uh, overall, um, a lot of forgiveness so far on the range. It really went straight, even if I hit it poorly. Uh, it's still, um, you know, managed to go straight. Uh, so far, there are some scratches. I don't know if you can see on here. Uh, you know, again, I don't know about durability. We'll see. The club face looks good, looks clean overall. Um, so yeah, I mean, at the current moment, I like it a lot. I'm going to now play this you know, in a handful of rounds, uh, really put it to the test. I'm gonna do a long-term review on this, so look forward to that. Uh, again, if you're new here, hit subscribe, hit that like, new videos every week. And as we say every week here at Bogey King Golf, you can still have fun even when you're playing plus one. So until next week, we hope you get out and play some golf, and we'll see you next time. All right, everyone, later.